10 celebrities who have almost zero haters. Of these 10 beloved celebrities, which one has Let's the go. absolute fewest haters? Okay. Well, let's right. begin by looking at Jack Black, Jack whose Black. hilarious oh, paparazzi yeah. interactions are just one reason almost everybody <laughs> loves him. For example, after being surrounded by a horde of photographers, Jack Black deliberately pulled the stupidest poses on his bike before trolling the paparazzi by doing this. It's impossible to follow me when I go this fast. <laughs> 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 he did Having fun with it. He's a great guy. That's what you gotta do it. He's a great guy. Which is a similar response to when he was ambushed by a single photographer. So, any new projects we should know about, sir? <laughs> the fact that he's just walking alone yeah. is kind of crazy. Big William, appreciate the gift. Shout out, Big William. While most celebrities are concerned about keeping a manicured image, Jack Black shows that being an idiot can hey. be just as beneficial, hey. although hey. he's also able to show maturity in the moments where it matters, like when he took the time to sing to a young kid who was a fan of School of Rock. Jack Black, he's just such a lovable he guy. Really is. How could you not like him? Met him once briefly, he was nice enough. He was really great with his kid. Something about Jack Black just feels so human, but while Jack Black has always been loved by everybody, the now loved John and it's always somebody out there. Is, yeah. Oh, Jack Black, he just do too much for nah, me. I, I love Jack Black. He just, it's somebody out there like, that say that. I feel like this list is gonna be all the people I love in the world. Of course, like Cena. Yeah, Where I'll is be, he? Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> Y'all, John Cena's amazing. God, and Cena was is. once disliked by many. However, Johnny, John, you gotta let that go. I love you, dude. You gotta let that go. I love you. You know what I'm saying? I love you. Like, I, if I know what I got going on, up I here, love you, dude. But that you got, you gotta let, you gotta that, let go. that go, Johnny. As the face of the WWE for roughly 15 years, Yo, people have said about John face. Cena, I hated him when he was being shoved down our throats by Vince, while a Sportster article claimed he was disliked for being overpushed. Long this had only been done, this. however, because he was too perfect. He maintains a clean image outside of WWE yep. and is a perfect role yep. model for kids who form yep. a big part of mm, WWE's yep. fan Bro, all right. Okay, don't laugh at me. Don't laugh at me. All right, Jay, I need y'all to relate with me. There's a Scooby Doo movie. Scooby Doo at WrestleMania. I was like, oh, that's cool. I saw John Cena was in it. I was like, I gotta watch it. <laughs> I was like, I gotta Is this new? Yeah, it came out a few years ago. Wow. That was good, though. It's good. I mean, you like John Cena, man. The niggas, you they, like men. They, you wrestled, they wrestled a skeleton flaming bear, bro. It was so what? cool. Yeah. Okay. Base, and he carried the company on his back through and through for over 15 for years. Sure he was a reliable name for WWE during that time, not to mention he learned one of the world's <laughs> hardest languages just to further ben the company's Chilling. presence. WWE has really never been able to penetrate China, so I figured if one of WWE's top superstars could bridge the language. And shout out he to his. rent out there and learned the language. And what? And shout out to his acting career, bro. Oh yeah, he killing it, bro. Have you it. have you watched uh, Peacemaker the TV series? <sighs> it's 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 so I bad. It, I heard it's good. It's so bad. It's good. Like it's not terrible. It's like it's bad because it's like I don't understand how to place it in the current universe. Mm. And like they explain it in the show, but it doesn't make sense. Mm. I love seeing the barrier. Maybe we can get some relevancy over there. On top of the angles and everything, it just draws. <laughs> <laughs> you got a body like that, you can do what you need right, to do, This John Cena holds the world record for granting 650 wishes through Make-A-Wish, which is especially crazy given no other figure has granted more than Damn. 20 wishes. When you experience something like the reward of a Make-A-Wish, if you're him. not moved, I don't know if you have a beating heart. How can haters hate on him? He's a good guy with a kind Love heart, man, bro. you're the man. With all this in mind, it's no surprise Cody Rhodes stated, John's the ultimate role model. Although if we're talking about ultimate role models, Steve. then Steve Irwin has to come Bro. next. Not only did he treat the media Steve. and his fans okay, with respect. Like, okay, we know he had haters when he was alive, but if you hate the man right now, you suck, dude. You probably suck. You, I'm pretty sure you, you suck. suck, dude. I'm pretty sure you suck if you, you hate suck, this man dude. right now. But of course, animals too were using all of his income to purchase conservation areas in four different countries. What good is a fast car, a flash house, and a gold plate of dunny to me? Absolutely no good at all. I've been put on this planet to protect wildlife and wilderness tell. areas, you which in essence tell. is going to help humanity. And you know, money, money's great. I can't 
I get enough money, and you know what I'm gonna do with it? I'm gonna buy wilderness areas with it. Every single cent I get goes straight into conservation. You ever, like, you ever see somebody like Bro. this where you can look in their eyes while they're talking and like, this fool love what he talking about? Bro, like, I lo- like, you I'm can, not, you can it's so them. It's so weird, I love meeting people like this. Like, even if I have no earthly idea what you're talking about, mm-hmm. but if you're so, like, I love people being passionate about something. Like, I'm a, li- like, I listen to a nigga talk about fucking, uh, elect, uh, fucking, uh, wiring cars. Like, mm-hmm. I ran across this YouTube video about the dude talking about wiring cars. He was so passionate. I didn't care nothing like about. Like, when we met the dude, uh, that dude, the inside of the engines, the internals. Yeah. Yeah. He you was like, like bro, yeah, this is. This bro, is we had machine. no idea. Da, 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 da. But we like, go, go ahead. Know what you talking about. Go ahead. Like, you can show me. Like, because like, I love people. It's in a vlog. It's yeah. Vlog. I love people being passionate about the stuff they love, bro. That's it's so cool. And guess what, Charles? I don't give a rip whose money it is, mate. I'll use it and I'll spend it on buying land. When interviewed by The Age in 2003, Steve used the interview to promote the protection of endangered species, and it seems his good nature was continued by the rest of his family. I never met Steve, but met the rest of the family when they were filming on Morton Island. Great bunch, friendly, approachable, so knowledgeable and willing to have a chat. Won us all over and were more than happy to join us for a drink in the evening. Steve Irwin was so kind toward animals that even after being killed by a stingray fans have stated I'm still a firm believer that Steve would have been like Cricket I'm so sorry stingray I didn't mean to scare you you were just defending yourself and I was in cry kit cry kit not cricket cry kit that's how he would say it yeah bro what the hell he just, that shit, that shit. In your space. Gosh, what a beauty. Admittedly, there are people who don't like Steve because he kept animals locked in his zoo, although finding a reason to hate Terry Crews is a much better. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Terry Crews is one. I don't of- think Terry belong on this list. People only because they don't like him. One of the reasons they don't like him is because they feel he Panders over panders. Yeah, as well as um. Yeah. Didn't something happen with his like his family or something? And so, something happened. Something like, else happened. Like with his wife or something. Yeah, yeah. I like Terry Crews. I like, I think he's cool. But I didn't think he was. I don't think he's terrible. Gonna be on this list. I don't think he's terrible. Yeah. I, don't I don't think he's terrible. I don't. I didn't think he. A was lot of a lot of people list. do love him, but in recent years, when it's dropped, when it's dropped today, there's been a lot. There's a lot of hate for this dude. Yeah more difficult mission. In fact, when you Google Terry Crews in the media, all you'll find is articles like 19 reasons why Terry Crews is a gift to the world and nine of the biggest reasons to love Terry Crews, both of which like Jack Black, citing Terry Crews as less than- He's cheated on his wife. So he cheated on his wife, okay serious nature. For example, he does the exact same jump at every red carpet event, although there's another Terry Crews meme that's a whole lot better. <laughs> Daniel the Goat wrote Bro, on Twitter, on I keep this pic of Terry Crews in my wallet so I can see it when I'm about to waste money on things I don't need lol, which Terry realized was a pretty good idea. I keep this pic of myself in my wallet so I can see it when I'm about to waste money on things I don't need lol, although the reason Terry Crews is ideal for the photo is because he's also incredibly disappointed. Disciplined. In a Reddit AMA, he explained, I spend nice, almost two yeah. hours a day working out, and it's therefore no surprise he's built such a crazy physique, which has helped him to land some of Hollywood's most lovable roles, like Cheeseburger Eddie and Latrell Spencer from White Chicks. <laughs> Terry Crews has also maintained his marriage for almost 35 years, which is a great indicator of like a... Well, not according to what we deserve. Yeah, not according to what I we mean, they, probably, they still married, though. They still married, though. Type shit. My boy, ability, Tom. given Tom Hanks has done the same. In fact, the only time Tom Hanks ever got angry in public was when somebody bumped into his wife. Back the f- off. What are y'all doing? Knock it over my wife. Although he has been exposed for behaving badly on film sets. Only the person who exposed him was Tom Hanks himself. Not everybody is at their best every single day on a motion picture set, the two-time Oscar winner said. I've had tough days trying to be a professional when my life has been falling apart in more ways than one, and the requirement for me that day is to be funny, charming, and loving, and it's the last way I feel. I'm gonna be honest. I can respect I don't, it. I don't dislike Tom. But like, he's not up there for me. Like, he's a great guy, mm-hmm. but he's not somebody that's like, you know what I'm saying? He's just not in your realm of. Yeah, yeah, he's just not there for me. You feel me? Like John Cena, John Cena's there. John Cena's there. Like, it used to be The Rock, but 
Yeah, dude. I used to, bro. Man. The Rock was so, bro. The Rock bro, was so awesome. The Rock was so cool. <laughs> the Rock was. The Rock then, was so cool, then you dude. You follow him on Instagram, and you like, he's so he's a he, cool guy. He's cooler. And then you hear what he's doing, he and like, all the Instagram he, makes sense, bro. Look, dude. It's so. It's like, like, like when he when he created his tequila. I was like, oh. The Rock made tequila. You know what What's the hardest? Started investing liquor? in XFL. Like, he started, ooh. you know what I'm you know saying? What and it's like, it's like. Making it re- reappearing in the WWE. Bro, and it's like, you know it's like, it was, he was so cool. Uh, appreciate you so much, Hernandez. And then you hear about the stuff. And like, once you hear about everything he's doing right now and it the just, ego, all of his Instagram posts, you look at them different. Yeah, dude. And it's like, dang, bro. Dang. It sucks, man. Despite often, f- but if you smell, See? you can't help but do it though. It's like he was so awesome, like that was crazy. Nah, sometimes you gotta that let was, them people go, bro. Like, like you Michael, can't, bro. Like Michael Jackson, like you, you, you can't, <laughs> dog. He was having them kids eat his <laughs> ass. Go let that nigga go. Go let that nigga go, fool. You, how you ask a nigga a question? I don't give a damn what your name is. That was crazy, bro. Feeling frazzled, Tom Hanks appears legendary in almost every role. However, even then, his movies are often hated. Well, again, by Tom Hanks himself. Okay, let's admit this. We have all seen movies that we hate. I've yeah. been in some movies that I hate. You have seen some of my movies and you hate them, with Tom's honesty about his bad moments only making him even more likable. Wasn't he in, uh... The Da Vinci, uh, what is the Da Vinci code? I In fact, the only it. location you might it. find a Tom Hanks hater is r slash unpopular opinion, where one user responded, upvote to the realest unpopular opinion I've ever seen on this sub. Well done, you absolute <laughs> psychopath. <laughs> Although nothing would be more psychopathic oh, yeah. than despising Bob oh, Ross, Ross, who was not only loved for his extremely wholesome Damn. persona, but also for inspiring millions to become artists themselves. Bob's show brought me so much joy, peace, and encouragement as a child. Yeah. He was one of the reasons I started painting. I remember Bob my first painting set and painting along to one of his episodes. I, did. I eventually realized that his style of painting was not for me, but his warm heart and gentle encouragement is something that I will never forget. In fact, every time I make mistakes in one of my paintings, I hear him saying, we don't make mistakes, mistakes just happy little accident. accidents. This follows Bob Ross's Great other guy, philosophy dude. that being different is not bad or good, it just is. And in case this wasn't wholesome enough, Bob Ross donated around 1,200 paintings, which was sold to help with fundraisers, while he refused to be paid by PBS for his show and instead gave all 403 episodes to the TV network for free. Wow. Although with one single what? article about Bob Ross once being difficult to work what? with, it seems Weird Al Yankovic's legacy might be even cleaner. His genuinely funny songs- I thought they hated Weird Al. Uh, yeah, I think he'll be on thought, this list. I thought, I'm not nigga, gonna lie I thought to niggas hated Weird Al had the advantage of being part of everybody's childhood. And while his interviews already show that he's a super awesome guy, those who have met him in real I mean, life his say he's- content, you can tell he's an awesome guy. Yeah, like, he's funny. He's a, he's for the time he was making the parodies yeah. he was making, you had to be awesome. Yeah, he's quirky, like he's that. quirky, he's funny. Great guy. Even cooler. For example, Patton Oswald once said that Weird Al is the lone exception to the phrase never meet your heroes, while Kurt Cobain literally said he knew Nirvana had made it when Weird Al called him to get permission to parody Smells Like Team Spirit. This is because Weird Al personally reaches out to each artist before he parodies them, not because it's required by law, but instead out of respect. Even then, Weird Al pays royalties to those he chooses to parody, which in turn makes him loved by other <laughs> artists, except for Coolio, or Weird oh, Al Yankovic's no. one and only hater. After Weird Al parodied Gangster's Paradise by instead making Amish Paradise, Coolio hated the song and chose to slam Weird Al on a different track, thus starting their Bro, feud. Bro, Amish the- Paradise is like that one I just remember. Yeah. That and the and the other one, the uh, Fat Michael Jackson. Yeah, parody, that them two is the ones I just remember instantly. Two eventually squashed their beef ten years later in two thousand and six with Weird Al's one and only public feud, placing him lower than James Buckley. His role as Jay in the In Betweeners was of such legendary status; every viewer couldn't help but love. 
I don't know who this is. Okay, okay. I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know this guy. The Weird Al's one and only public feud, placing him lower than James Buckley. His role James as Jay in the Buckley. Inbetweeners was of such legendary status, every viewer couldn't help but love him. But while his character in the show was braggadocious Damn. and sometimes mean spirited, <laughs> James Buckley was the opposite in real life. When he began uploading to YouTube in 2016, oh. people realized James Buckley couldn't have been more humble, which has since helped him to become the highest paid star on Cameo. You're a Cameo millionaire? Yeah. I don't want to rip people off. I charge 40 quid. You know, two mates can go in, 20 quid each, for their other mate down the pub. The only real disaster in James Buckley's career was the in-betweeners 10-year reunion, prompting him to tweet feeling pretty hated right now. Although given James Buckley is one of the smallest now, celebrities on Keanu. Boy, boy. Mega love. Look, first of all, first of all, let me, let me, let me go. Let me say this, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love this nigga since The Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> like, I still haven't seen it. I still need to, you know. I almost hit you, what? but but Keanu wouldn't want me to do that. But I, <laughs> this, I think since the Matrix, bro, since the Matrix, I seen Constantine. I didn't see man. I ain't gonna lie. Before I watched John Wick, I ain't really get it like that. You know what I'm saying? Then I watched John Wick. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, his acting doesn't take much. But, but he does it well. But he does it well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. It's, he's the white Denzel. He's literally the white Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington, his his acting isn't too drastic. It isn't too like character forced. It's very simplistic, but done very well. Mm. Like, and then you have characters like Will Smith that seem he acts really well, but it, it you can tell he's acting. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, I feel it. I feel on this list, Keanu Reeves has to come next. His lack of haters can be summarized by two simple words, likable vibe. Keanu Reeves is known for being one of the most relaxed, humble, down-to-earth guys in Hollywood, being spotted on subways and park benches as if he were just another person. On a subreddit dedicated to Keanu Reeves being awesome, the second top post of all time reads, actors that nobody hates annual meeting, followed by Keanu sitting beside Tom Hanks. In fact, Keanu Reeves is so loved on Reddit, he overtook Barack Obama to achieve the most upvoted AMA of all time, where he used most of the attention to prop up other actors. This discussion about him being loved only makes others join the train and like him also, like although there's one more celebrity who likely has even fewer haters. Won't you be my neighbor? Loki, thank you! You know who that is? I know it, but the name you like, you know, you know somebody, but it's just fucking slipping my head. I know this nigga. Say his name. I can't. It's Mr. Rogers. Mr. Fucking Rogers. It, I, it wouldn't. One it wouldn't. Mr. Fucking Rogers. Come. His lack what of. Was he a dick? Who was that? Was the asshole? No, that's uh, the science guy. Bill Nye. Bill Nye is the dick. Bill Nye not a Bill dick. Nye. Bill Nye is the dick. Cynics requires According little explanation. To the Fred Rogers was simply unhateable. His demeanor was so kind, calm, and caring that when his car was stolen from outside of the network, the thieves returned the car to the exact same spot two days later, with a note on the windscreen reading, if we'd known it was yours, we never would have taken it. Damn. Mr. Rogers was the definition of leading by example, as Fred's work for the great- You wanna know something crazy? There was a, a point in my life where like, I had Fucking cardigans in every color. And it was because I'm of sorry, him. But I just never watched, I never seen him or Bob Ross outside of them being mentioned on the internet. Like, never I've never, shows? I've never seen, I've just Damn, heard this about This is how you know this nigga had a great life. Shout out to us for not having cable. What? And being oh. poor. Oh, that's why y'all saw him? Yeah, nigga. Oh. PBS, nigga. Oh. The, the, the majority of people weren't wealthy oh. like you people. I wasn't fucking well. What Greater the fuck? Good did not take the form of marching, rallying, or picketing. Fred didn't march against Jim Crow. He cast black actors on his program, yeah. with his kind nature certainly extending to outside of the show. I actually met him a few times when I was younger. I knew his grandson. And his personality wasn't just some facade he used on camera. He was genuinely one of the nicest people I've ever met. See, I hate... People like Mr. Rogers only for one reason. Why? I don't want to be a good person. What but like what? seeing them, what? What? seeing like people like Mr. Rogers, John Cena, seeing what? good people make you want to be a good person. But being a good person, it 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 leaves you vulnerable. Vulnerable to the asshole. Yeah, bro. World. Like and and the assholes win, bro. So like 
it's such a it's such a weird it's such a weird thing because like you see these really great people and you like damn I want to be like these people I want to be a good person but you know the reality yeah, of the world meet the world and it's like it's it doesn't feel safe to be a good person it doesn't feel like okay to be a good person mm. niggas jumping to the conclusion <laughs> niggas what the fuck here. <laughs> By all accounts, he actually was the kind and gentle man that he appeared to be on TV. In fact, this person thought hating Mr. Rogers was a sign of narcissistic parenting, with his likability being Facts. summarized by one single sentence. Mr. Rogers was, and in spirit remains, living proof that it's possible to conquer evil with kindness. W man's, bro. W, w, w man's, bro. W video, right w there, video. Sunny man. Mm. 